Dallas. Welcome to Topic Media. This is your host, Karuna Pai. Today, I have the honor of introducing none other than Dr. Sai Lakshmi Balajipalli, who is here with us straight from Chennai, pediatrician by specialization, and also has a purpose and passion of making sure no child is denied the right to quality health care. She's also founded Akam Foundation. So join me in welcoming Dr. Sai Lakshmi and hearing all about her passion and purpose for children and mothers. Welcome. Thank you, Karuna. Uh, so Akam has been a beautiful journey, and it, as it means, it's a confluence of community, civil society organizations, public and private sector. So it started in uh, Tamil Nadu, and uh, we complemented the government healthcare system and uh, sort of uh, staffing, training, and equipment maintenance of almost 73 neonatal care units, which has been completely funded by the government, but Akam sort of implemented it and operationalized the neonatal care units. And uh, this, in a period of five years, brought down the mortality rate to a significant level in Tamil Nadu. Almost um, 21 babies dying per 1,000 live births to almost 16 babies dying per 1,000 live births. It's just like a small NGO like Akam complementing a bigger body like a government where the bureaucrats so, were so open, uh, it could happen. And uh, now this model is being replicated in Chhattisgarh where we have operationalized 18 neonatal care units in partnership with the government and UNICEF. Again, uh, it's completely funded by the government and UNICEF, but we had an opportunity to implement it. And uh, right now, northeastern states in India and southern states are coming forward. And that's the goal, how best we can complement and uh, see that how we can bring down the mortality rates. And we are also looking at a sustainable well-being initiative in the community and work towards the well-being rather than ill health. Yeah. So that's where the community preventive programs are happening. And we have bringing in sustainability by including livelihood. This is uh, happening in Tamil Nadu, in all the districts of Tamil Nadu. So that's the model of ACOM. Okay, that is awesome. So you are expanding not only to Tamil Nadu, but other neighboring states and even going to Eastern India, and you're also opening chapters here in the US. So what would you like from the Dallas audience, the physicians, the students, what would be your message on how they can contribute to this amazing cause? Yeah, the, almost 20 chapters in US uh, got started and uh, Dallas is amazing, led by Srini and uh, team. So we, we invite phys physicians all over and and especially Dallas, uh, uh, the idea being we are trying to see how best the physicians can contribute because here also there are many uninsured uh, children and patients who are needing support and if they can contribute their time and also do uh, educational programs like telehealth down in India to do the uh, you know, training programs there and they could visit India and uh, uh, give their expertise and we could organize a platform where they could do their surgeries or they could actually you know give their technology technical expertise in India and uh, youth um, uh, we we invite youth because our main main idea is how to bring in a peer mentoring and we want to build mentors who could mentor high schoolers who could mentor middle schoolers so that they are actually very strong in values so we invite youth and physicians to join hands and to take this forward so you believe that giving out of generosity comes naturally to human spirit and it's been instinctive to you from your early days uh, to sacrifice without thinking twice. I mean, you missed your uh, interview uh, for a job that was a really high position job to be of service to the people who were in need. So tell us a little bit about when you started drawing inspiration and passion to follow a greater cause than meeting your own needs. Yeah, so first of all, it was never a sacrifice. It was highly self-centered and it's been a beautiful journey. And it's been like, you know, for uh, any pure intention, nature response with lots of love and abundance, then that's been a beautiful spiritual journey. And if I had done anything other than this, I, I think I would have sacrificed this for that. So that's been a beautiful journey with Akam. And how beautiful souls come in my life who have taught me that, uh, no, like uh, we in Akam are actually uh, have a great opportunity to take care of these kids rather than we giving them something, but they have been giving us this great immense pleasure to take care of them. Okay, that is, that is amazing that you felt, you know, being there was not the sacrifice, but if you're taking the job, that would have been Absolutely. the sacrifice. <laughs> 
So your inspiration I've read is Mother Teresa, and you're definitely following very much in her footsteps, making sure health care and wellness and well-being is brought to mothers and children, especially the ones who cannot afford. So tell us about your brainchild, your child, Acom Foundation, and the work that Acom is doing uh, to several people in different states. Yes. So being a pediatrician, the entire work started in Chennai, in Tamil Nadu, in India. So uh, witnessing children as a postgraduate, uh, like it is typically in a public health care system, there is a huge discrepancy in supply and demand as the GDP allocated in India, we all, we all know it's very less as compared to U.S. It's almost like, you know, um, four in India and uh, 14 in U.S. So that's where what happens is like, for example, every sick child, uh, like 10 sick children come to the hospital, maybe five uh, would get the treatment what they would actually you know need and the rest would actually not because uh, there would be a shortage of life-saving drugs equipments manpower and lab investigations and many a times the doctor uh, mind would be you know uh, where do i get all these and you know how do i take care of this kid and obviously private care is so costly like you know when the parent comes like he uh, he or she would be told like you know the child needs a uh, uh, sort of uh, three to four lakhs to continue the treatment and the parent would be uh, like so stressed like where do I get uh, the money from and uh, no his mindset would be I would rather lose this kid and have another kid which is more economical so as doctors we all want to actually take care of kids who come to us and when we face such situations it becomes very very difficult so that was the seed to actually start ACOM with a very strong intention that no child should be refused of health care because of financial constraints and no parent should feel guilty that he or she is not able to afford the treatment and no hospital should refuse uh, because of the financial constraints. No, that is definitely, I mean, heartbreaking to hear that a parent, because they cannot afford childcare, are willing to, or healthcare, are willing to let go of that child and give birth to another healthy child. So you are definitely making a big difference, and your organization or foundation is changing those numbers. So speaking of that and the contributions, I know here in the U.S., if we you know, spend twenty dollars, it'll probably just go to our copay, but twenty dollars to Acom Foundation can save a child's life. And as a result, you are spreading the awareness of Acom Foundation internationally and opening chapters here in the US. Can you share a little bit about how all the physicians here are coming together to support uh, Acom chapter uh, here in the US as well as in India? Yeah, it's amazing actually, you know, uh, like uh, the medical school friends and uh, uh, ha are joining hands all over and uh, my medical school uh, friends Dr. Neelima from Baton Rouge, Dr. Shilpa from San Jose and Aruna again from Baton Rouge. They have joined hands to set up ACOM USA in 2016. It's a 5013 certified uh, organization and uh, all over the, uh, all the medical school classmates have joining hands and we are setting up chapters and in fact my school friends and college friends everybody is joining. It's an amazing feeling of oneness. Wow and almost 20 chapters got set up and uh, uh, the idea of the chapters is to actually you know every chapter sort of adopts a district in Tamil Nadu to start with to understand the deeper dynamics of maternal and child health care and the model what's happening there and how the mortality rates have got you know uh, dropped because of the interventions happening in a deeper way and hands-on and it's a completely transparent model uh, so this year we are fully going to concentrate on that and the second one would be the ACOM Youth Ambassador Program which is uh, where we are trying to instill values in the youth so that they are the next generation and they would actually sort of take it forward. So these are the two main activities we are actually planning to do in US and uh, uh, globally we have also set up ACOM Canada and again my medical school friend Rama started it and uh, ACOM UK got started by medical school friends. Uh, no, Ajay, and uh, so uh, these are the chapters currently existing and we are exploring other chapters. But the idea is how best we can all connect and we have been given su such a beautiful profession to experience the process of healing and how best we can reach out. And uh, so that's the idea, bringing in the global oneness to uh, take care of mothers and children. 
That is tremendous and so well said, you know, all your friends, physicians are coming together to support this endeavor because it definitely takes a village to make something big and continue the contributions. You've received several awards and accolades in recognition of the impact that your work is making. How did you feel when you received the Nari Shakti Puraskar Award in 2015? How was that feeling? Yeah, actually the best award is the smile on the mothers when we see when their child, uh, when they receive a healthy child back in their arms. Uh, when I received this award, I first felt uh, how can a small organization like ACOM uh, receive such a big award. Then when I was thinking, I got the answer that the God, God is saying like, uh, no, you better do more. <laughs> That's why you have been given this award. <laughs> So I immensely feel honored when I received this award and uh, definitely I assure that uh, with, the, with this uh, movement of oneness, we will definitely reach out. Absolutely, absolutely. So what is your now dream for the future of the ACOM Foundation? Yeah, so to start with, uh, we are sort of setting up chapters in U.S. as a model for the rest of the world. And uh, so, uh, as I told you, every chapter would have a hands-on understanding on the work, what's happening in India. And sort of uh, later on, we would want to scale it up to other states in India and expand to, you know, uh, across India with connecting to different parts of the world like UK could adopt another state and Canada so sort of uh, because we need to work on a war fit footing because as you see the statistics are very glaring and uh, that's what is the idea like how best a uh, country w which, which is affordable can support a country which is in need and we have a technical complete technical model which is replicable across. So that's the idea. So we would uh, share this knowledge across wherever we get the opportunities and see that uh, the mothers and children uh, get reached at the earliest. Okay, that's, that's tremendous uh, vision that you have. So if anyone wants any of the physicians or anybody with their expertise or money or time that they want to contribute, uh, you would say that they can go on uh, the ACOM website to get more information on how they can make an impact and a difference. Yes, they can go to acomusa.org and uh, they'll, uh, they will get all the information in the site. So you started ACOM in 2009, and uh, you have made a difference and impact in several lives, children, mothers, the community as a whole. Is there any story that stands out to this date on, you know, that feeling that you got when you saw your work come to fruition? Yes, yeah, so uh, when actually uh, uh, I would want to give a beautiful example of a soul, uh, Kulsumbi, who was a patient in my house agency, like uh, she was uh, totally unconscious and when she was actually got admitted and uh, as a house surgeon, typically we feel like, you know, as a doctor, uh, we are so proud and wh wh whichever patient comes to us, we want, uh, you know, we, we feel like we, we can treat them. And uh, when she, uh, when I looked at her, like she was completely emaciated, unconscious and, uh, you know, two months being with her uh, got bonded with her and I mean no sometimes medicines would not be there and we would literally steal from other departments and used to get it for her but then at the end of it uh, like you know when she became all right and she left there was this feeling of incompleteness like you know um, uh, like it, I should have felt so happy like she's become all right and left but at the end of it, it was like, you know, I, I felt it was not me giving her something, but she gave me this immense feeling of healing, uh, you know. So that, that way, every kid who has come to ACOM has given us this immense feeling of a great opportunity to reach out to that child, if the child has to survive, would survive with the support of many others. But it is like, you know, we getting this great opportunity and I always thank God uh, and my parents and everyone who has been a part of this, uh, who have uh, no, been a part of this oneness journey to experience this. So I think you were born for this. Uh, it is very enlightening, you know, feeling when you feel that they are deriving, you are deriving energy from Same. their healing. Absolutely. So that is, that is an unspoken bond for sure. So thank you so much, uh, Dr. Sai Lakshmi. It was a tremendous pleasure and honor to spend time with you and learn about ACOM Foundation. Wishing you all the best and opening up chapters all over the world. And I'm sure you're going to get all the support you need in this noble cause. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So uh, do you, what message would you have for our topic media viewers and audience? 
thanks karuna and thanks shilpa uh, uh, topic media is amazing and reaching out to so many so many audience and uh, you know thank you so much and uh, i request audience to watch out for the next edition in uh, uh, july uh, which is the health edition and it would feature ekam on it thank you thank you so much this is karuna signing off with topic media <laughs>